Hi there, I'm Nookie Notes, and this is another episode of Ask About Kink from DatingKinky.com and Dark Side Magazine. Today's question has probably been asked by every single person who's ventured out into the lifestyle in one way or another. Let's start with it. My first lifestyle club munch is finally scheduled, but I have no idea what to expect. What do I do? How do I act? Do I just sit submissively in the corner? Do I venture out and talk to people? I want to find someone to share my fantasies. First of all, wow, how exciting for you and congratulations for taking that step. That is super fabulous. Munches vary greatly from one country to the next, one city to the next, and from one group to the next. So the best piece of general advice I can give you is to reach out to the organizer and ask them for tips on what to expect or any rules that you should be aware of. Many organizers will be both surprised and flattered that you asked and be happy to give you all the help that they can. This is a great way to start. Plus, you're also making an immediate connection with somebody and that's invaluable. Um, I'll give you some ideas though on the rest of it. Any munch is full of humans of all kinds. Some will be friendly, some may not. Some are likely to be feeling just as awkward or even more awkward than you are. In this way, a kinky munch is just like pretty much any other social gav gathering ever. Um, I don't suggest just sitting submissively in a corner. In fact, your, your DS or kink role uh, matters less in overall behavior at one of these things than you might think. Um, it's really about making friends and connecting with people who are like you and with people who like people like you. Um, so be friendly, smile, introduce yourself, show interest in others, um, make friends, even the ones that are not the role or the type that you are specifically looking for, because you never know where those connections might lead. And knowing people in the lifestyle as friends can give you people to bounce ideas off of, share potential red flags with, and maybe even help keep yourself out of some trouble. So yeah, absolutely, talk to people. That's what a munch is for. Or a slosh, which is similar. It's like a munch held specifically at a pub. They're for meeting people. Now, as far as someone to meet to discuss your fantasies with, do understand what that while that will likely happen, it will also probably take a bit of time. Don't try to force or rush that. Uh, when you really connect with someone, you can both share yourselves a bit at a time and build yourselves up to a greater rapport. Sort of dip your toe in and see how things feel before you go all out. In closing, you've got this. Just be you and make amazing kinky friends and everything else will follow. Thank you for joining me, uh, Nookie Notes on FetLife. Um, and datingkinky.com for Ask About Kink from datingkinky.com and Dark Side Magazine, which is a print and online magazine covering all the hottest aspects of kink and fetishes out of the UK. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next episode.